Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, I'm Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. Welcome, I'm so glad you stopped by. I am today going to be taking part of the Keep It Simple Sunday Challenge. Now the host is Melissa Makes It DIY and Sandy McKenzie Lumber Mill DIYs is her co-host. I hope you guys go down and check out the description box. It's gonna have their links as well as the link to the playlist so that you can check out all the creators and all watch all the videos. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe as well as hit the um, notification bell. If you hit it twice, it will give a little parentheses. That means every time I put up a um, video, you will be notified. Also, if you would give me a big thumbs up, that's going to help my challenge my channel out a lot. And also, please leave comments. I love to read them, and I love to comment back. That's way we can get to know each other is through those. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, as well as I have my Facebook page on there as well. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and we'll see you then. Okay, this is a little metal owl. It's really weird how I came across this little thing. I moved into my house last year, and every time I kept looking out my bedroom window, hanging in a tree, was this little owl. It's red, white, and blue. Well, I knew I didn't want to keep it red, white, and blue, so I decided to turn it into a Halloween owl. So here I am painting. I First of all, I painted the whole thing with Mod Podge that will make it where it will the paint will adhere to it because it's metal So I'm painting the whole thing white white is easier to cover with other colors than um, Trying to just piece out the colors um, Especially some of the colors that I'm going to be using it won't cover cover over the top of some of the colors that was on this so I completely covered it white, except for the back, the very back. I didn't, because I knew no one was going to see it, and it didn't matter anyway. So um, I'm getting all the little areas that was the blue, the red, and the white, and I'm just painting them. Now, I think I end up doing two coats of white is all it needed. There's all little nooks and crannies in this thing. So I wanted to make sure that I got them all. Here it's all white. Now I am covering it with black. Most of it. Not around the eyes and up. Anything that I was going to be painting a lighter color, I did not color it with um, black. Now here I'm doing the yellow. Now if you can see that black on the foot. I didn't wait for the black to dry and so I end up having to go back and put white on there so that I could cover that black up but I'm doing the eyes and the beak and then I'm not sure what that is called above it looks to me like eyebrows I'm gonna paint those white uh, yellow as well and I'm doing the beak And I know the paint on the, my palette looks orange, but it is yellow. And I'm just carefully going around the eyeballs. I don't want to get the, any of the yellow on it. Okay, now I'm going to do the f eyebrows, but they're not eyebrows. They're feathers, but they look like eyebrows. So we'll just call them eyebrows. Owls are pretty awesome. We have one that sits in a tree behind our house and you can hear it woo -hoo, woo -hoo, all the time. And it's not the same as the doves that make kind of the same sound, but it's a little bit different. The owls that's here who go like who, but it also uh, they screech. Okay, now I am putting purple 
on the eyes because I want them to have purple eyes. So I'm putting it around the outside um, so that I could do the pupil in, in the middle, in the front. And these paints, that I get them in half gallon jugs and I have white and black from Blink um, dot com and the rest of my colors comes from uh, Walmart and I can't remember the brand it starts with an A-R-O or A-R-M something like that but I will um, link it below and if you see that funny tan line I have on my arms <laughs> I wear compression gloves 95% of the time, but when I'm painting, I take them off when I'm crafting because I just get stuff on them. I get it on them anyway, I just don't want paint and glue all over them. I do a lot of woodworking too, and I'm making a bread box, and <laughs> I got a whole bunch of wood glue all over my shirt. I thought it was ruined. I washed it. Every bit of it came out. I was like, yes. The glue usually comes out of my gloves too. It's the paint that stains it. So I try to make sure that I take them off. Sorry, I had to yawn. So I've got this little tiny brush that I'm trying to make sure that I don't get on any of that yellow. Because I know if I get any on the yellow, then I'm going to have to paint it white so I can get it yellow again. Because the purple is a much darker color, so. Okay, now I've got, um, I've repainted the, the feet white so that I could get them yellow again. And I'm doing the pupils so that there is the pupil of the eye and then I'm just kind of making sure there's no uh, mess ups or anything and so I'm just doing all the little details to get that all done I've got about 300 <laughs> paintbrushes so I just switched to a different one I'm putting the little feathers that stick up in the center on the uh, like the eyebrow type and now I've done the the um, feet and now it had a round circle so I thought oh, this owl's gonna be holding a pumpkin so I grabbed the orange and it was a little bit difficult. I had to do like three, two coats on it. I didn't want it completely full coverage because I was going to dry brush like right here. I'm doing a white dry brushing on the black so it looks more like feathers. And then I'm going to do a black um, or burnt umber, I can't remember on the pumpkin just so that you can see the outlines kind of yeah it's black so I'm just kind of doing the curves and making it look like you can tell it's a pumpkin he's very cute and I'm making a jute um, hanger I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a blessed day and please don't forget to comment and come back and see me soon bye